Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Around the Table GTA. We are in Season 2. Thanks for tuning in all this time, guys. I really do appreciate it. Uh, the views don't really matter that much. The likes don't matter that much. It's the message that really counts. In this season, we're going to be exploring S's, at least for this month. I might just do a whole month about just S's. So we're going to start with September. This month is September, at least where I am. I think everywhere is September. <laughs> but um, what September means, at least where I live, it's the start of a new month just like every other month but it's similar to January where it's kind of a start of everything brand new uh, it's when school usually starts it's the end of summer which is also the start of a new season and things really start to change um, it doesn't matter what point in your life you are whether you're a child and you're just starting school if you just get out of high school, you know, it's college. If you're not in college, you might be searching or starting a job, right? So September has that significance where you're like, you know what? What am I going to do with my life, right? With January, it's more of a hopeful where you're like, I wish all of these things will happen, like a New Year's resolution or your plans for the year. Um, it kind of <laughs> was negative for the last two years, especially 2020, where it's the start of a new decade and we went into all of this madness. But September is a month where you kind of have to start stepping it up or at least your brain starts putting yourself in that kind of status. You're coming off of September or summer, which is basically a huge break, right? You have that time with your friends to relax, whether it's friends, family, whatever you do for your free time, right? Some people don't have friends, some people don't have family. Uh, they just have hobbies, who knows, right? Everyone's going through something. But you have this huge time where you could pretty much do whatever you want. And then after you're in the situation where everything is changing, not only the weather, uh, the trees are changing, uh, people are starting to get sick, you know, it's the start of flu season as well, right? Or it's evident because nature is changing as well. So every aspect of your life is starting to change. And you could kind of say that it's kind of a natural process, right? So what do you do in September, all right? Even if you hear music about September, like uh, Wake Me Up When September Ends, um, it's just a weird kind of stress and it's not necessarily a bad stress all the time it's more of a nervous stress like oh you know it's my first day at school or you're moving out to a campus or another city to start school somewhere or you're starting a new job because you want to save money for school or something that you're more interested in right school's not the only way to go um far in life you know but with how the world is, you need some type of money, right? Whether it's monetization, uh, whether it's you holding a bunch of product and selling it, or it's just you using your wit to get things from people, right? <laughs> we want to keep it on the legal path here, but, um, you know, to each their own. So with September, it kind of brings a mentality where, you know, do I want to keep doing what I'm doing? Do I want to change my lifestyle? Do I want to sort things out and start fresh, right? And I'm on the latter half of that where I'm going to give myself a week to continue to just do whatever I want. And then I'm going to start going super hard on certain things. I have a bunch of goals that I still want to accomplish by the end of the year. And for the most part, I'm still on track, but I've noticed since the summer, um, I've picked up a lot of habits that I don't necessarily want to keep at, right? Some of it's because I got back into things that I did enjoy. Some of it's just to deal with other things. Some of it's just to keep myself occupied because, you know, I haven't been feeling the greatest. That's a thing that happens, right? Yeah, September is just kind of like a whirlwind, right? I don't know. I'm a big summer person, but this summer I didn't do much, which is not surprising, but surprising at the same time. You know, a lot of 
the lockdowns restrictions kind of mellowed out but at the same time just because things are more relaxed doesn't mean you have to go wild and crazy right i'm still not trying to get sick like that right um and it's it's still a reality that people don't want to face but it's here and uh it seems like it's here to stay but we'll see how the world reacts how your government reacts and how you'll do stuff to compensate that stuff with school i don't know i was thinking about going back to school recently i still might i'm still saving right a big thing that i've been doing is saving i've been cutting costs i've been subtracting the things that i spend my money on and even started cooking a little bit more but it's still pretty crazy that the prices of everything is starting to skyrocket and it really confuses me with all the people who aren't working right now you know how they're dealing with uh, government handouts and even just paying for things right i usually just buy food at work because it's subsidized it saves me a lot of money compared to going outside to eat right like i could eat three times at work and it's the same as buying something outside or getting something at fast food or even like buying a pizza which is pretty crazy if you think about it but that's the the little blessings of the place that i work a lot of people stress out about their workplace sometimes i do but i have to see the gems that are at my workplace yeah shopping is definitely completely different now and you know it's a season of change and september is a time where you should really stop and think about things right you know some days are hot some days are cold especially the nights the nights just you you never know if you're gonna need a sweater or you could just go outside in a tank top right um when it comes to september as well you know you're usually starting something new and for me it's not necessarily new it's revisiting I'm not going to talk about all my plans, but it's revisiting some things that I've kind of put back on the shelf for a while and I have to just deal with. So I'm living out the last two weeks of September as, well, (laughs) yeah, the last two weeks of September as the last two weeks of summer, which they're, they're basically like the end of summer and just getting everything that I can out of my system before I start on these bigger goals that I feel that will propel me in life. I think I'm going in the right direction. I hope you guys are too. Uh, If you're not, you know, you could visit some of my older episodes and it might help you reflect on things that you might think you're struggling with. And if you have any questions, you could always leave a comment or DM me. I could help you out or I could try to help you out, give you some advice, especially like when you're starting something new, there's... A theory that it's the first 100 hours that gets you locked in so if you're ever starting something new make sure that in the first 100 hours you're not slacking off so a big issue that i've been having even like when i was starting this episode i was doing two things at a time right i'm trying to have things where i have like solo attention and it's very hard with everything that we have now like compared to how i was growing up and now you're never not multitasking. You're always multitasking. See, I use a double negative there on purpose because you're always multitasking, whether, you know, you're on, like, you're on the the toilet. (laughs) Yeah, whether you're on the toilet and you're on your phone, like, back in the day, I hate saying back in the day, but really back in the day, like, when I was younger, until, like, the Game Boy came out, if you're in the washroom, like, they're just sitting on the toilet, <laughs> right? Uh, there was nothing else. I remember when I got my Game Boy and like when I got my Nintendo DS, you wouldn't even catch me in the washroom without bringing that in there, you know? I'd be there for 20 minutes and my parents would be like, what are you doing in there? And I'd say, like, I'm pooping. And they're like, for 20 minutes? <laughs> Obviously. Uh, I, I, I think I... <laughs> I'm not even getting that conversation, but, you know, it's not 20 minutes, right? It it got to the point where, like, I was even taking a bath, and I just dragged that in there, and it was a really bad habit, but it was something new where you kind of dragged it everywhere, right? And I haven't done my online, like, detox this year, too, so I have to fit that in somewhere. Uh, That won't affect the episodes, by the way, guys, so if you don't see me post as much, whether it's on my main or on this channel's um instagrams it's because i i need to focus on 
the things that I said that I was going to set myself up to do, right? Um, but yeah, like I said prior, you can email me, you could message me, leave a comment, you can still contact me. It's not, it's not too hard. I, I won't make it too hard for you guys. Yeah, so I'm going to try to keep my September simple. And how I'm doing that is, you know, I'm revisiting my calendar. I have a calendar behind me and it's it's one of those big calendars where you could write things that you want to do and everything. And I've been kind of neglecting that calendar because I've just been trying to live my best life while uh, making as much money as possible because I want to be able to secure things and I want to keep making money, especially with how things are right now. Like, even where I work, there's so many people who don't want to work that it's hard to find people working. And it's crazy that we've been hiring people for maybe the last two months and we're still continuing to hire people and people just come and go and come and go and come and go. And it's I don't think it's ever been like that, at least in my lifetime, where people just do not want to work. And that's something that's strange and I think is really concerning because people have lost a lot of motivation and what's happened or what's happening in the world has been very stressful for a lot of people. And I don't know how everyone's dealing with it. You know, I'm dealing with it with finally doing my podcast and just making bigger goals and imagining myself in different places and scenarios where I want to see myself, right? And I'm surrounding myself and kind of like my thoughts with things that are things that I really want to do, right? And I'm kind of like a simple person at times too, so (laughs) there's not too much that I want to do. If I want to do something or if I really want something, I just go really hard and I get at it and then I'm just like, okay, what am I going to do next, right? I don't know. Everyone's a little bit different because even everything that I want for this year is basically paid for it. So it's, it's hard to be motivated to do anything, right? Uh, I'm planning to get a new car, right? But I already have enough money to buy a new car. So what else can I really save on, right? Unless I'm giving to others, right? But even then, I've been cutting costs on a lot of things and not spending as much. So... I have this excess, right? But it's never too bad to have excess, especially if it's something like money. Um, Yeah, even last year, I bought way too many sweaters. So I have like maybe eight sweaters that I haven't worn. And (laughs) it's September, so maybe I'll go out this fall a little bit more and rock my sweaters. But it's a thing where when you can prepare and when you can get things at a better time, just do it, right? I think um, the biggest thing that I hear at my workplace and even, like, from my parents where they're like, you know, I wish I worked more when I was younger and I didn't spend as much so I'd be in a better place today, right? So many people at my workplace are constantly working overtime and trying to pay this off or trying to buy this. And it's like you've worked in a place where you make decent money for so many years, And you kind of like splurge it everywhere. And that's not to like insult them or anything, but it's kind of a perspective where, you know, when you're younger, you need to get a lot of stuff out of your system, you know? And even if you don't get that stuff out of your system, you're going to do it when you're older, right? It's like when you see those older people trying to date super young people because they finally have money, but that's because they work too much, right? But if you subtract, too much out of your life at some point you're going to try to get that back whether it's a person who feels like they wasted their youth and they finally have money and they go splurging or they're going on vacations and everything or someone who never speaks out when they're mad and then when they get mad they have this type of explosive anger that seems like it doesn't even make sense Like, I'm not always like that, but I can be like that sometimes, right? Because I try to be as pleasant as possible. Or, you know, if I'm not pleasant, I just troll. So I don't have to be, like, very mean. But when I do get angry, I'm a pretty angry person. But I try not to get myself there. But you can't really suppress those things. Because everything that you don't do or you avoid, it builds up, right? 
So you need to make sure that you clear up that buildup in any way possible and do what you need to do to get back on focus. So this September, I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I'm going to have my rules for what I want to do throughout the day and just keep checking off that checklist, whether it is always having a clean room or like doing 10 push-ups a day or running 1K every day, right? I haven't ran in a while. I got a new bike and I've been biking a lot more because, you know, I'm trying to ease up the tension on my body and biking is just like a different experience, right? I think (laughs) it's just like, I don't know, it's weird where like, you're crawling at one point and then you're walking then you learn how to run like you know you see little kids right because it's september it's back to school for a lot of kids and you see them running everywhere and you're like why do kids just like why don't they just stand still (laughs) why don't they stay in place right and you have to remember that there was a time where they could barely walk and now they're at the point where they could move fast right so they're enjoying all that time they were moving slow and now they can move fast. So they're moving fast anytime that they can. You know, they're jumping around. Um, last weekend, I jumped on my bed just because I was feeling super good. And I was just jumping on my bed. And everyone's like, when I tell people that, they're like, what's what's wrong with you? <laughs> but it's something that's very enjoyable. And it's not, it's like, it's stress relieving. Like, when's the last time you jumped on your bed? Stop and think about that. When's the last time you woke up? And you just felt great and you're jumping on your bed, whether there was music or not. You know, it's it's something that if your bed's fine, you know, don't break your bed, but try it out. It's it's very it's very fun. I do it every once in a while. I've done it probably like a several times this year <laughs> because it's just something that I just do and then sometimes if someone walks it on me, they're like, What are you doing? I'm like, I'm enjoying my life. What over you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But back to the moving thing right like when's the last time you jumped right or even back to the kids thing too where like you know you start with walking and then you're running and then you learn how to rollerblade or ride a bike and then you start driving it's just an escalation of speed right and speed is something it's something that some people like some people don't right Uh, if you're a kid and you ran too much and you fell you know you like moving slow or you're scared of roller coasters or heights Right. But ultimately, speed is something that's interesting. I know this is completely random. It's off topic, but it's an S word. So it's definitely on topic. Anyways, guys, um, it's September. Let me know what your goals are. Are you going to keep it simple this September? Or are you going to keep doing the same things that you were doing all summer? We only got the three months. Yeah, we got three months left and then the year is over, which is kind of crazy too, right? Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what you're thinking about doing. I'm not sure what the next episode is going to be on, but you already know that it's going to be an S. Maybe I'll talk about my trip on the next episode as well, aka Get Out 2. you seen Get Out the movie. It's a reference to that, but you won't really get it if you don't know me. <laughs> but uh, what I did last summer was funny, and that was another movie reference. We are getting into spooky season, by the way, so I'm ready to start talking about scary things and stuff like that. But who knows? This is just another fun episode. It is the start of the season, right? So that's how we're going to start. We're just going to start off pretty random and... Yeah, thanks again for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the next episode, and I'll see you guys later.